In this video series, we look at uh, job descriptions and some of the keywords you guys as recruiters, technical recruiters, may still not really understand. So now I'm looking at the job description. They are looking for a software engineer. The keyword here is operating system. Can you guys see it? So we will go through operating systems. We will look at some of the most popular operating systems so you guys uh, have, uh, have a better understanding. What is interesting about this job description is actually by Microsoft and they are looking for a Linux based uh, operating system developer. So how cool, how ironic this is, right? So Microsoft is looking for someone to write a Linux based operating system. What is an operating system? Well, first let's look at a user. A user who has an idea. He wants to, first of all, play uh, an application, a YouTube application. He wants to watch um, a video and he sits by the computer. Okay, the computer is usually nothing more than just hardware. And, uh, and uh, you know, he would like to launch this application YouTube because all the videos are, are online uh, so in the cloud so he needs to stream the video there is a great application YouTube but how how can he launch this application well he needs an operating system because otherwise he couldn't really use the hardware the hardware on his laptop or uh, on his smartphone the hardware such as a CPU or I mean a processor or a memory or a keyboard like this. This is hardware. This is um, you know this is the iron. So operating system usually serves as an interface, interface to a memory, to a processor, to all these devices. Speaking of a keyboard, keyboard, um, trackpad, mouse, printer, um, whatever other devices you can think of, external hard drives. Uh, files stored um, on, a, on an SSD disk or security, you know, uh, the, the operating system takes care of security also. So um, without an operating system, you know, maybe you could just plug in your, your laptop and someone else could um, download files on your, on your drive. It just doesn't make sense, right? So you need an operating system. And there are a few types of operating systems. Uh, some of them are good for mobiles, some of them are good for servers, some of them are good for personal use. So uh, we, have, we have a few of these and I'm sure you've already heard about, uh, about most of these, maybe not uh, heard about Chrome operating system, but it's always good to have this as a little reminder and see what do they have in common and what are some major differences. So first, Looking at mobile operating systems, obviously you guys uh, know about Android. Android is open source, uh, which means the community uh, develops it. It is, it is uh, sponsored by, by Google to a large extent. They have actually purchased the company that uh, has started with Android operating system. They have purchased it years ago and then they open sourced it. Chrome OS is also an operating system by Google. Um, they, uh, they open sourced it, which is great. So that's why have, they have here these uh, two green dots that indicate open source uh, operating systems. And then we have two closed source operating systems, which means uh, these companies have never released the source code of these uh, operating systems to public. For example, iOS, by Apple. I'll write it here so you guys don't forget Apple and these two are by Google. So iOS and Windows by Microsoft obviously. Microsoft. <clears throat> um, two closed operating systems for mobile. And uh, yeah, they also develop uh, other, other operating systems. They slightly adjust uh, their operating systems. For example, they also have Windows Server and Mac Server. Okay, so Microsoft has Windows Server, Apple has Mac Server. And then we also have this community um, driven operating system um, based on Unix. 
So uh, we have these you know, Linux flavors, there are just so many different uh, flavors. And since it's open source, anyone can download the source code. Uh, anyone who, who is uh, brave enough to kickstart a new project can start a new flavor of Linux, uh, get a community of developers and start pushing their, their view. And this is how lots of uh, Linux-based flavors actually uh, pop up. This is how they start. We have, uh, we have several that are great for, for servers. Um, so, um, so it's important to keep this in mind. It's community driven. And then we have also personal, uh, personal operating systems. Again, Linux based, but different. So for example, Linux based operating system could be uh, Ubuntu, which has a great user interface. So it's, uh, it's optimized for end users, uh, just like you and me who like a graphical user interface and who likes um, you know fast um, browser or, or whatever right so we we like to see things visually but servers they actually don't need any visual interface it, it just slows down the servers so the this um, server servers like linux based servers they don't have any um, graphical user interface. There are no windows, there's just console and uh, a developer needs to type um, the, um, the, the commands. Okay, so we have also Windows, Windows 10 and Mac OS by Apple uh, for, for end users, for, uh, for individuals who use them on laptops uh, like you and me. So, so each of us uses either Mac or Windows uh, very few people use Chrome OS uh, yet. Uh, this, this operating system is great. <clears throat> it encourages uh, the, the cloud-based use. Uh, you know, everything can just run in the, in the browser. And these days, when uh, pretty much all the major applications can be accessed as a service through a web browser, this, this has uh, huge potential, obviously. So with that, um, I wanted to highlight uh, what are the differences and segment it a little so you guys see uh, what, what operating systems are for mobiles, servers and personal. And I also indicated which ones are open source and which ones are closed source. So uh, I will wrap it up here and I will strongly encourage you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we share more insights about how to hire developers with confidence.